Hello, hi everyone. My name is Nada Sadr. I'm from Udu, Dubai, and I will be showing you how to be fully compliant to Zatka requirements by using Udu. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to check our company information set on the database. So we do that by going to settings, and then we update the info. So the two most important attributes in this area is that I need to have the country set as Saudi Arabia and that I need to have the tax ID set on the company. So as soon as I have these filled, I'm good to go. So I will just save and I will proceed to apps. In apps, I will be able to install the modules that I need to comply with the requirements. So I'll just wait for those. Okay. So uh, in case you try to search for the modules, but you did not find them, you can just click on update apps list and update. Then everything will be refreshed. You will find them uh, afterwards. Okay, now a very important uh, note uh, to give you in this area is that these modules are only available for available for V15 and V14 uh, databases. So if you are using a prior version, I would suggest you start upgrading your database. Okay, so the first module we're gonna check is the Saudi Arabia accounting. So this one has all the accounts, it has all the taxes, the tax report and the journals. So it has a generic setup for your accounting module. Then we have the KSA. The KSA has two payroll modules, which are um, basically the setup of payroll for, for Saudi. Then we have the KSA invoice. So the KSA invoice uh, module is what triggers the, uh, what actually creates the QR code on the customer invoices. And then we have the KSA point of sale. And this one, it creates the QR codes on the POS receipts. So we need to install them if we are using both. If we're using one, we can just install the one that we need. Okay, we also have the GCC module, which is for Arabic and English invoices. So this, is, uh, this module is mandatory to install because this will translate my invoices or this will actually add one language to my original invoices. So uh, your invoices will be in both Arabic and English. Okay, so I think we can start uh, creating invoices. So let's start by going to customers and to invoices. I will create a new one and I'll set the customer. So the customer here is, uh, if we check it from the back end. Okay, so we have the country on the customer and we also have the tax ID. So I'm doing this just to make sure that the customer, uh, the tax ID of the customer shows up on my invoice. So I can start adding the lines here. The first product I'm gonna add is the wood dining table. So uh, actually, let's let's check this product from its record. You can see here that I added a translation for this product name. So here we have a wood dining table, but the translation of it in Arabic is uh, ta'am khashabiyya. So I will just save this. So I'm doing this because my invoice should be should have both languages. So I don't want to just put it in uh, English. I will be adding the Arabic by using the translation feature. So let's say that I'm also uh, selling the installation service in this case. We can also check the installation service uh, from here. The product type is a service. And from here, we can see Khidmat Terkib. Okay, so this one has a price of 300, which is fine. Then I will put 1000 for this one. Okay, now I'll put the invoice date as today as well. Okay, let's add this. These are the terms and conditions of my invoice. So I will just do the translation here. Oh. 
Okay, it's very important not to confirm the invoice unless you're 100% sure that uh, you actually want to confirm it. Since once you confirm the invoice, the QR code is generated for your invoice. So you cannot change it. You cannot uh, do any edits to the amount, to the customer, to the dates, nothing. So only confirm the invoice once you're 100% sure of it. So let me confirm this one. And then let me print it just so I can take a look at it. Okay, so here's my invoice. I have my company information. I have my QR code and I have the customer information and their VAT number. Then I have the label put as tax invoice, Fatura Garibia, which is very important since the label is important. Then I have the important date fields and that are here. And I have the lines uh, that should reflect what uh, the customer is buying, whether it was a product or it was a service. Then I have the totals. You can also see the terms and conditions being uh, translated. Okay, so uh, you should note that this QR code is not to be scanned by a phone camera because it will generate uh, text and numbers that is not uh, human readable. So uh, basically this is encoded in uh, developer language. So uh, this QR code is supposed to be scanned by the VAT application uh, by Zafka. So I'll just go back to Udo and I will create a credit note. So let's say it's a partial refund on the same day. But let's say that it's only for the wood dining table since a service is uh, not refundable, let's say. So I will just confirm and I will print it. Okay, so this is my credit note. Let me open it. Okay, so this is my credit note. It has also my information, uh, customer information, and it has the credit note label the important dates and also has the reference like where it came from and I have the uh, lines that were sold uh, to the customers uh, to, sorry that were refunded uh, from the customer so then I will just go back to Udo and I'll go back to the main page and now we can start with point of sale so I'll go to point of sale okay let me continue selling Okay, since the uh, POS receipt is a bit smaller than the uh, customer invoice on the accounting application, so um, uh, we created the POS receipt in a way that has the name of the product as one name. So it's not translated. So the system does not see the name and the translation. It only sees the main name. So that's why here I put table covers on the same uh, field. So it will not be translated. It's just the main field has two languages. So let me, let's let say that they got actually three table covers. And let's say that the customer is ABC company. So I set the customer and then I want to process the payment. Let's say they paid by a bank. Now I validate. So this is my POS receipt. So my POS receipt has the uh, product names. It has the tax amount. So here I have the tax set as 0% where it should have been 15%. Uh, but then I have the POS, um, the POS receipt information uh, completely filled. So I have the total taxes set as zero because I have the taxes here as zero. But the delivery uh, charge is 50 uh, Saudi Riyal here, and the table cover is 300 in total, which is 100 per piece. And then I have the total and the tax total. And also the QR code is uh, scanned, uh, is to be scanned by the VAT application by Zafka. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video.